last week's video we learned how to make an HTML5 video player. So now let's take it to the limit and see what HTML5 can do. With last week's basic HTML5 video player out of the way, click here if you missed it, we can now experiment with the video using an element called Canvas and some JavaScript. First we're going to take a look at the HTML5 Canvas element. Then we're going to programmatically copy the video to the Canvas element. And then we're going to manipulate the Canvas and therefore manipulate the video. If you want to follow along, you can download the project files here. Then open up the HTML file that we created last video in a text editor. Now let's create a canvas by typing this. I'm calling it C input for canvas input, but you can call it whatever you want. So now we need to draw something to the canvas, but the only way to do this is through JavaScript. So let's go ahead and create one. Go up to the header and start a script. Within the script, we'll create a variable that contains all of our processes. Then we'll create a function and call it do load. Now we'll add the C input canvas as well as a context for the canvas that lets us draw on it. And the next step is to create a variable for the image, attach it, and draw it to the canvas context. Before we save it, we have to make sure it loads. So go down to the body tag and add this to it. Okay, let's go ahead and save the file and open it up in an HTML5 browser to view the results. You should now see an image below the video. Alright, so you've created your first HTML5 canvas, but now how do you add a video to it? Well, essentially it's the same thing as adding an image, except every time there's a new frame in the video, you have to then add that new frame to the canvas. So first off, we have to give the video a reference ID so that we can call on it from within the JavaScript. So type ID equals and then I'll just call mine my video. Then jump back up to the load function of our script and add a reference to the video. Change the image variable to self equals this and then we'll use that variable, add an event listener to it and watch for when the video is being played. We'll set the width of the new video, the height of it and a timer function which we're about to create. Close out of the event listener and above the load function create a new function called timer callback which we just referenced. Create an if statement so that if the video is stopped or paused then the timer will stop. Otherwise we'll draw the video. So take our draw command and move it to right below the if statement and change it to this. Then add the self variable again and set the timeout function to restart the timer and scan for the next frame. Alright, testing time. Save the file and refresh the browser. When you play the video, you should see a clone of it playing right next to it. Now that we've cloned the video, we can manipulate it. And there's many different types of manipulation, such as rotating the video or exploding it. But what I'm going to show you how to do is make a green screen effect by removing any green that's in the video. The first thing that we need to do is make a second canvas. We'll call it C output. To make things more organized, I'm just going to add a few quick CSS tags to align the video and canvas to the left and put a 10 pixel margin in between them. Then we'll need to add references to it in the load function. Now let's create a function called pixel scan and make a variable called frame and set it equal to our input canvas. Now we'll create a for loop that cycles through all the pixels, red, green, blue, and alpha. And we'll make an if statement using the decimal value for green to set all the colors to zero so that you can see through them. If you aren't sure what your color's decimal value is, you can reference it here. Then we'll put the image data onto the output canvas and return the results. And then we'll call it in the timer so that it runs for each frame. Now if you save the code and refresh your web page, you should see a third video with the green chroma keyed out. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with video and canvas in HTML5. Taking what you've learned in this tutorial, see if you can turn your video black and white. And if you come up with something cool, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. And that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.